while running six furlongs in one minute eight and one fifth seconds. The striking daughter of Seattle slew proved that win was no fluke when just a week later she turned in one of the most remarkable efforts by any athlete in any sport, routing her rivals by 21 lengths while racing six furlongs in one minute eight seconds flat in the Hollywood Lassie Stakes. That victory made Landalusi a national heroine, and with each successive triumph, her legion of fans grew and grew. In extending our sympathy to the entire Landalusi team, we are speaking for people everywhere, for young and old, for ardent racing fans, and for those persons who never have seen a race, for all of those people who in just a few short months developed a love affair with this great filly. Had she not been stricken, Landa Lucy was expected to be a starter today against Colts in the Hollywood Futurity. We'll never know the heights she might have scaled, but we do know she'll never be forgotten. She was our superstar. All eyes were here on the infield, and all thoughts were on a filly who would have been one of the favorites in this race if she had lived to run it. Instead, they buried Landa Lucy by the waterfall at Hollywood Park during a short ceremony attended by her trainer, her jockey, track officials, and stable hands. Her promising career was cut short by a bacterial infection which killed her on the day she was to race here in the Starlet Stakes two weeks ago. Roving Boy's trainer later admitted it would have been hard to beat Landa Lucy. To have a race named after you is obviously a huge honor here at Hollywood Park, or any track for that matter, and even to have a street named after you as well, Landa Lucy Lane, here in Southern California. Landa Lucy only ran five times, but she never lost, and that's why they honor her with a tombstone right here on the turf course at Hollywood Park. And Jill, she won those five races by a combined 46 and a half lengths. She was just an amazing filly. That's the quarter pole, and in the stretch, Landa Lucy has extended the margin out to some seven lengths. Good memories. Uh, she's probably the best young horse I ever rode, two-year-old filly. Uh, she could do anything. She had a lot of speed. Now past the eighth pole, Landa Lucy is just galloping along by some nine lengths. Time of sale remains second. Rare Thrill is closing some ground. Landa Lucy all alone in the Anokia Stakes. You usually don't see that on young horses. They usually are very green at the beginning and then develop in, into good horses, but she was good from the beginning. Landa Lucy is striding out in front by four The Oak Leaf would be her last trip to the winner's circle. Less than a month later, Landa Lucy was dead from colitis X, an often fatal intestinal disease. Both trainer Wayne Lucas and jockey Lafitte Pinkai were left to wonder just how good Landa Lucy might have been. I remember that he told me the first time I wrote it that she, uh, she was very special, that uh, she could really run, you know, and uh, uh, I remember that she said, she don't worry, she's going to win very easily. And when she died, you know, uh, you know, it, 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 it was disappointing for me because I, I, I really expect that she, she was going to be a champion. She is one of the best ones I ever rode, you know, even though she, I only rode it for time, but uh, I, you know, she, she would, she would have just got keep getting better, you know, and uh, who knows, who, who could tell what kind of a feeling she would have been. Horse racing takes no prisoners. Lafitte thought the filly named Landa Lucy could have been a female version of Affirmed. The first time Lafitte rode her, when they put the time up, 
I remember distinctly Lafitte standing on the scale saying, I don't think she went that quick, you know, because she was so deceptive. And uh, I mean, you, she got, she captured the imagination of the public. Being by Seattle Slough didn't hurt. Land Lucy in front, drawing out by uh, five lengths. Issues and answers. Ron Harena and Shirley Brown. Land Lucy just galloping, and Land Lucy is the winner by seven and a half lengths. Land Lucy drawing out, running easily. Midnight Rapture and Miss Bigwig, and Land Lucy is the winner by eight lengths. Land Lucy just galloping by twelve lengths. Landa Lucy all by herself. Landa Lucy is the winner by 15 lengths. Lafitte takes his cross, chirps to her, and that's when 21 lengths happened. She opened up 21 lengths as a two-year-old filly from the quarter pole to the wire in record time. Lafitte's pulling up on the backside. I am awestruck. I had never seen that kind of acceleration in a horse running like that. I thought I had a champion. I really thought I was going to have a lot of fun with her. And then she, she got very sick, and uh, she, she never came out of it. She just, she just died, you know, and it was such a loss, you know. I remember Wayne was very distraught about the whole thing, you know. He, he took it very, very, very bad. And, we all did, you know, because we knew what we had. In his very first crop was Landalusia, filly with her sires brilliant. Although the great filly died of a bacterial infection in November of 1982, she put her name permanently in the books of racing history. She was undefeated in her five race career and was voted champion two-year-old filly for 1982. The ABC TV cameras caught Landalusia in her glorious days at the racetrack. When a beautiful woman walks into the room and all the men nudge each other, you don't have to tell them all that she's pretty. And that's the same way that Landa Luce is. When she, when she walks uh, out on the racetrack, horsemen stop and, and look. Ever so often, racing gets a superstar. Ruffian was one, Genuine Risk was certainly one. And uh, I think Landa Luce is, is in that class. In my opinion, I think she can do what they did and maybe more. Now we feel very good about her mind. She's businesslike on the racetrack, and yet when you ask her for something, she is there and she responds like a good sports car. All you got to do is step on the accelerator and zoom, it's there. 